All right. Thank you for being here, everybody. Make sure that you are going to copy every single thing that I'm going to write down because we need you to get full credit for this assignment. All right. So the name of this equation is, I mean, this uh, assignment is solve system by elimination part two. And we're going to solve each system by elimination, right? So let's get started. So again, as I always do, right, is I like to highlight each equation, right? So the first one is going to be in yellow. Second equation will be in orange, just like that. So there is nothing that I can do to eliminate, right? Not quite. What I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the top by 2. Because when I multiply by 2, this is going to make this a negative 28, which will cancel with this positive 28. So that's exactly what I want. So 2 times 20 is 40x. 2 times negative 14 is negative 28y is equal to 2 times 48 is 96. My orange, I simply copy down exactly the way I see it, just like that. So now when I cancel them out, look at that. Boom. 40x plus 9x is 49x. 96 minus 47 happens to be 49. Look at that. The opposite of multiplying by 49 is dividing by 49. So I get x is equal to 1. Perfect. So I'm going to recopy my orange equation because this one looks more simple for me. You can pick the yellow one if you want. It'll still work. 9x, but instead of x, I'm going to put a 1 plus 28y is equal to negative 47. Let's remember that I put x is equal to 1. I put 1 there because I know that x is 1, right? So 9 times 1 is 9, but I got to move this dude over. This way is minus 9. So I get 28y, negative 47, negative 9, the same sign. So I got to add those two. 47 is bigger, so it's a negative. And I opposite of multiplying by 28 is dividing by 28. So I get y is equal to negative 2. So my solution, kiddos, is x comma y, 1 comma negative 2. There you go. Look at that. That's number 1. You got to multiply, right? I had to multiply. All right, number two. Again, let us highlight the top one in orange, this one. This time, excuse me, the bottom one is in yellow. Again, I am going to coincidentally, not on purpose, multiply the top by two. Because this is going to make this two times 11 into positive 22, which will cancel with this negative 22. So... 2 times negative 5x is negative 10x. 2 times 11y is 22y. 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. And my yellow equation stays exactly the same. I just recopy it over. Look at that. And now, boom, boom, look at that. Negative 10x and 17x is 7x. Negative 10 and negative 60, same signs. I add them and I get negative 70. The opposite of multiplying by 7 is dividing by 7. I get x is equal to negative 10. Right? Negative divided by a positive is a negative. I think this time the orange is the same, is a little simpler for me. Negative 5, x is negative 10 plus 11y is equal to negative 5, right? And again, I need to plug in x here, 10, because x is equal to negative 10, right? All right, so let us do some calculation here. Negative 5 times negative 10 is 50. What I'm, I'm going to move this 50 over immediately. It's minus 50. So I got 11y here. Those are the same sign, so i got to add those two. And I get 55 negative because 50 is bigger. 
the opposite of multiplying by 11 is dividing by 11 so I get y is equal to negative 5 so my order pair is negative 10 comma negative 5 look at that that's my solution for number 2 and those are our first two problems right there okay Remember, copy everything down, please, for you to get credit for this assignment. Top equation in red, bottom equation is in pink, just like that. So, again, this time I'm going to multiply by 2, but I'm going to multiply by 2 in order to eliminate x. Because if I multiply 2 times 16, that gives me 32, and that eliminates with negative 32. So, 2 times 16 is 32x, 2 times negative 16, y is negative 32y, 2 times 48 is 96. The pink equation, I copy it exactly the way I see it. Carbon copy. And now, I get exactly what I wanted, which is eliminating those, right? Uh, negative 32y, different signs, I got to subtract, I get 17y. 96 minus 11 is 85. The opposite of multiplying by 17 is dividing by 17 as y is equal to 5. So I got y this time first. I think my red is way simpler, so I'm going to say 16 x minus 16, but instead of y, I'm going to write 5, is equal to 48. Okay, so negative 16 times 5 is negative 80, which I'm immediately going to move over as plus 80. So I get 16x, let's see, 48 plus 80, I'm going to add those two dudes because they're both positive, so I'm going to get 128. And the opposite of multiplying by 16 is dividing by 16. So I get x is equal to 8. So my order pair here is x is 8, y is 5. Look at that. All right, that's my number 3. Okay. That is my number 3. Number four, pink on top this time, red on the bottom. All right. So I am going to, let's go with gray, see how it works. Hmm. With this one, I'm going to multiply this top one here by two. Because I want to make this two times 14 is 28, which cancels with negative 28. All right, 2 times negative x is negative 2x, 2 times 14y is 28y, 2 times 8 is 16. My orange equation, kiddos, copies exactly the same, right? Exactly the same. And look at this, That's what I wanted. Negative 2x and negative 2x is negative 4x. 16 and negative 40 are not the same sign, so I gotta subtract them and I get negative 24. The opposite of multiplying by negative four is dividing by negative four, so I get x is equal to six. Positive six, right? So, uh, for sure, my pink looks easier. Negative, but instead of x, I'm gonna put six plus 14y is equal to 8. So, negative 6 just gives me negative 6, which I'm, gonna, which I'm gonna move over as positive 6. So, 14y here on the left, 8 plus 6 is 14 on the right as well. So the opposite of multiplying by 14 is dividing by 14, so I get y is equal to 1. 14 divided by 14 is 1. So my order pair is x is 6, y is 1. There you go. Look at that. That's our number 4. So you copied it down, right? 
Let's go to the last two now. Last two. Five and six. Right? Let's go to five and six. So let's change our highlighted numbers. Let's go to here. Dude, let's do two shades of purple here. This is dark purple, and this is not light purple, but like violet, right? Okay. So what I'm going to do again is I'm going to multiply this, and I'm going to change that here. I'm going to multiply this bottom equation by 2, because 2 times 16 will give me 32, which will cancel with this negative 32. So my dark purple, I'm going to copy it exactly the same. Look at that. Exactly the same. My bottom, I'm going to multiply 2 times 10 is 20x. 2 times 16 is 32y. 2 times negative 16 is negative, oops, negative 32. So my y's cancel. Look at that. Negative 6x and 20x is 14x. I subtracted them because they're different signs. 32 minus 32 is 0. The opposite of multiplying by 14 is dividing by 14. So I get x is equal to 0. Perfect. It's going to make things easier right now. And I'm going to pick my violet. 10 instead of x, I'm going to write 0 plus 16y is equal to, it's supposed to be a y by the way, very po poorly drawn y, is negative 16. Well, 10 times 0 is 0, so this is gone. Perfect. The opposite of multiplying by 16 is dividing by 16, so I'm left with y is equal to negative 1, right? And my order pair is x comma y, so it's 0 comma negative 1. Look at that. That's my number 5. Right? Finally, let's do number 6. Last one. Right? Again, let's highlight. Let's do the top violet and the bottom dark purple. This time, I'm going to multiply. What did I do? What color did I do? Oh, go that one. This time, I'm going to multiply the bottom by 2. Because I want 2 times 12 is 24, which will cancel with negative 24. So the top, I'm going to copy it exactly the way that it is written. The bottom, 2 times 12x is 24x, 2 times 14 is 28y, and 2 times 30, that's not equal, 2 times 30 is 60. So now, look at these dudes. Cancel out exactly what I wanted. 11y and 28y is 39y. Six, uh, 57 and 60 is 117 the opposite of multiplying by 39 is dividing by 39. Y is equal to 3. All right? I'm going to pick... Let's see, what did I pick here? Violet. So let's go with dark blue here. Dark blue. Dark purple. So 12X plus 14, but instead of Y, I'm going to write 3 is equal to 30. Let's remember that I put 3 because y is equal to 30, so 3 goes right in there. Right? So, draw my line of separation. 14 times 3 is 42, which immediately is going to go over as a minus 42. Right? So, 12x here comes down, right? Uh, 30 and negative 42 is a negative 12. I subtracted them because they're the different signs. 42 is bigger, so I get a negative. The opposite of multiplying by 12 is dividing by 12, so I get x is equal to negative 1. 
So my order pair is going to be x, which is negative 1, y, which is 3. And I get that right there for number 6. All right. And that is the entire assignment reviewed one number at a time, right? So make sure that you have copied everything down. Make sure you rewind if you have to to copy everything down for you to get the points required for this assignment. All right. Thank you for being here.